Oh. Hey everybody, Steven here with Walk and Discovery. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Walk and Talk series, episode three. And today, I'm here with a super special guest named Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt is shoes off. We're going shoes off. What? Why don't you get your shoe on? Do you want to take both of them off? Here, take that one off too. I'll hold them. Can you pick them up and give them to me? Can you grab them for me? Can you hand those to me, please? Thank you. I'll take the other one. Thank you. Let's keep walking. Alright, those are probably super uncomfortable shoes. We forgot to wear socks today. Hey, everybody. Steven here with Walking Discovery. And I am joined with my man, Wyatt. <laughs> we are here at University Lake, right outside of LSU in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, thank you for tuning in to episode three of our Walk and Talk series. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different uh, because Wyatt is an autistic, nonverbal teenager. So this won't be like a verbal exchange type of interview. This will be more like um, just kind of informational and, and, and what I really want to get across is kind of breaking down the stigma of being a nonverbal person um, and maybe a little bit about, you know, autistic people in general. Um, Wyatt and I have known each other for about eight years now. I started working with him when he was seven and he's 15 now and like taller than me, which is crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, in this video, I want to break down a little bit about the stigma behind being autistic, being nonverbal. And I want to explain to you how I communicate with Wyatt and how he communicates with me. And, and, and maybe through this video, it will help you in your own experiences dealing with people, coworkers, family members, friends, who communicate in a little bit of a different way. Um, so, the first thing I want to say is that nonverbal does not equal non-social, as you can tell. Wyatt is a very, very social guy, um, and he's very communicative. Um, we communicate in a variety of different ways. So primarily the way that we communicate is through touch and just being around each other. So as you saw earlier in the video, um, why it was touching my face and kind of like bumping into me and stuff. That's kind of our main way of like hanging out, like, you know, like having a conversation, so to speak. So one of the things that I like to do is I'll take my, my knuckle, I'll make a tone like E, and then I will I'll kind of like give him like a little like muscle massage and do the same thing. So at the same time, D or like a kind of just like bump in a little bit. And that's kind of just how we communicate. That's like a, 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 a way that we have a conversation in, in a certain sense. Um, other ways that we communicate are we do, I do communicate verbally to him, so just because he's non-verbal doesn't mean he doesn't understand what I'm saying, because he does. I, I can ask him for things and he will respond by, um, you know, if I ask him to take a seat so I can make him some dinner, he'll go ahead and do that. Um, a lot of times when I give him compliments or just talk to him, like we're buddies, you know, he responds in a positive way. And so that, that, <laughs> that lets me know that that he's enjoying himself and that he's that we have a good bond together uh, huh? and this bond you know it came easy at first I met him in Frederick <laughs> I met him in Frederick Maryland back when I uh, used to work out there and his family who are his parents who are <clears throat> professors at LSU were on sabbatical and 
Uh, I put out a Craigslist ad saying that I could help their family. And then eight years later, here we are, hanging out still to this day. And I'm hoping for many more years of this. <laughs> All right, let's start walking back, Why? <laughs> You're pumped. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about how to communicate with Wyatt. Um, it's very easy, you know? It might be strange to you at first, and from a neurotypical standpoint, framework, you know? Uh, I think that's one of the biggest problems is that as a society, we really try to <clears throat> fit neurodiverse minds into neurotypical frameworks. Let's, let's head back, come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I think as a result of that, trying to fit, fit people who have a different way of viewing the world into uh, a neurotypical framework is that it creates a stigma and it creates stereotypes that are oftentimes negative. <laughs> but as you can see, um, you know, there's nothing to be worried about, there's nothing to be afraid of. <clears throat> um, hanging out with Wyatt is just like hanging out with any of my friends. Um, it's just, we've created this bond together and it's something that we continually develop and work on, just like friendships and relationships. And, <clears throat> um, and you know, it's it's something that's totally unique and, and something that you should be proud of it, you know, and something that you should look out for. All right, so we're back from the lake. Um, we decided to put the camera down and just focus on walking because it was getting really crowded out there and we were getting really distracted. So we decided to come home and get distracted somewhere else. This is why it's swing that he uses, his chair, and uh, unfortunately his trampoline is busted due to uh, super epic bouncing. Ever since I've known Wyatt, he's really, really loved the outdoors. For him, being out in nature is something that <clears throat> is soothing. And it's, it's how we actually started uh, working together. We would go out to this park um, in Frederick, Maryland, where we would ride scooters and we would, we would go over to the river and we would splash water in our face and, um, and you know, explore and see new things and just be amongst people and I think I think that type of um, uh, activity is really a good way to engage with Wyatt. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll give you an example of what it what we do when we like to uh, communicate with each other now that we're not in public here. Uh. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> so this is, is how we have a conversation. And this might not be your typical conversation, but this is what works best for Wyatt. And uh, this is what works best for me when I'm with Wyatt, uh, because we get to actually bond together and, you know, <clears throat> keep up with each other this way. Wait, wait, why, why, why? Come here. Wait. <laughs> Let's chill, let's chill. All right, 
So why well, it's got a lot of different stems and uh, sensory kind of stuff that he likes to do. Um, one of them is playing the piano or any sort of like musical object. Uh, he's not necessarily a musician, but <clears throat> he just likes, I think he enjoys the sensory feel of the music and like the tactile sensations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also notice that <clears throat> he uses some stimming toys, like a little chewy toy. I think it's helpful when he's anxious, but he also just likes to do it just, just for the heck of it. Um, it's it's kind of self-regulating to him, I would assume. I think the main thing that I want to get out of this video uh, for whoever's watching is to try your best not to stigmatize or be judgmental towards nonverbal or autistic people. And don't be afraid to make friends with people who are autistic or interact with people who are autistic or nonverbal because you might find one of the best friendships or companionships or relationships of your life and you would never know that if you didn't give it a chance so we're about to go in and make some dinner but thank you all for watching and i hope this was helpful for anybody out there you know if i could help change one mind uh or one opinion about the way that you look at nonverbal and autistic people then you know i'll be really happy about that and i feel like i would have done my job and I feel like if Wyatt could speak to you directly you would think the same thing so that being said that's it for today that's it for this walk and talk thanks for sticking around to the end of the video if you enjoyed it like share and subscribe yeah and we'll see you in the next interview have a great day